you been fencing? 13 years. 13 years? And when did you first get started in, or um, what got you interested in fencing? When my son was seven, he was very interested in swords <laughs> and he started taking uh, a class with the Oxford Park Commission, which we got started with Dr. Matthews through the Oxford Park Commission. And I just started helping out and they actually paid me. <laughs> so it was great. What's your favorite thing about fencing? I think it's fun to to have an opportunity to actually use swords like people do in the movies, <laughs> but in a very structured and safe way. Now, um, I know, how many students do y'all have right now here? In this class, we have a half a dozen, but in the university class, we normally have uh, 15 or 16 as a full class load, and that's through the exercise science program mm -hmm. through the University of Mississippi, and that's for academic credit. Then we also have students who are participating in the Oxford Fencers Club, and we'll be seeing some of them come in uh, in about a half an hour. Okay. So, um... Maybe 30 all together. Okay, well that's not a bad number. Mm -hmm. So, um, is the Fencing Club, is, this, is it still part of the Oxford Park Commission, or...? Uh, the Oxford Park Commission is the entity within the city of Oxford that sponsors all the youth sports programs, right. such as soccer and basketball, and fencing is one of them, along with swimming. Um, the Oxford Fencers Club is a separate entity, it's a non-profit organization. Uh, we've been here, uh, I guess, about five or six years now, um, and it's also affiliated with the University Fencers, which is the University of Mississippi fencing program. Now, um, how often are classes held up here? The, the university fencing classes are held Tuesdays and Thursdays mm -hmm. at the noon hour from 12.30 until 2.30, so they're two-hour classes. The youth classes are held um, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. From This class is from 3.30 until 5 o'clock. And then, as I mentioned earlier, in the afternoon, later in the afternoon, you'll see the older fencers come in. Some are youth and then some are college students. And some are people from the community. Fencing is for all ages. Now, um, I know that there's not a lot of, um, it a large community and you have some kids. Why do you, why do kids, or do you know why the kids generally participate in the fencing courses? That's a very good question. Um, we find unique students tend to gravitate toward this sport. Uh, students who are maybe more intellectual or <laughs> academic. Uh, it's very challenging because it's actually a mental sport. We always say it's 90% mental and 10% physical. It involves a lot of strategy setting, uh, analysis of the opponent. Um, so I think that appeals to kids that want to use their minds as much as their bodies.